All right. We're good. All right. Welcome to week four of the Uneducated Education Podcast. I am Gino. Hey, guys. My name is Chase. I'm back. Welcome back, Chase. And today, our guest is Justin. You can say your own last name. Uh, Cavanus. Cavanus. Mm-hmm. Justin, how old are you? I am 19 years old, almost 20. 19. We're doing big things over here these days. Um, it's just a little update for everybody. Uh, we had we were banned from SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Our first episode was pulled. I don't understand why. I don't feel we talked about anything too crazy, Chase. You know, I honestly feel it's just we were bad bitches, and SoundCloud oh, recognized Jesus that. Jesus Christ! All right, no, shut the fuck up. Chase. That <laughs> I might have to leave this. <laughs> yeah, so everything will be switched over to YouTube. It's taken a little bit of time, but it'll be up there um, for all 30 people that have liked our page so far. 31. <laughs> 31. My cousin liked it. Oh, okay. Um, did you like it, Justin? Yeah, I did. Good. I, at least I think so. If not, I can just go do that right now. We're going to have to go outside. All right. So, biggest topic of discussion, Captain Marvel. <laughs> I saw it Thursday. Did you see it, Chase? Friday, whenever you sent me that link. The bootleg. Justin, when did you see it? I saw it yesterday. In theaters or bootleg? Uh, in theaters because one of my friends wanted to go see it too so i went with them okay um my personal thoughts on it i thought it was okay um the end was corny uh spoilers coming for anybody listening that hasn't seen it wants to see it when that bitch was fighting (laughs) jude law in the fucking spaceship and struggling to win i was like okay She's normal, right? Then all of a sudden this bitch fall out of a fucking spaceship and the bitch can fly and blow up fucking airplanes with her hands. Or not airplanes, with spaceships. And I was like, this is corny as fuck. Those are my thoughts. But other than that, I thought it was cool. Um, Justin, what are your thoughts? I was thinking the same thing, except for I don't think it was as corny. Just because I know a little bit more about comics. Not very much, but just like a little bit. And I knew she had all those powers. And I don't know. I just thought it was an okay movie. Mm-hmm. Not the best Marvel movie and not the worst. What would you say the worst is? Just out of curiosity. Careful. Ooh, Chase may be offended. <laughs> I would say probably Iron Man 3. I felt the whole movie was pretty corny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That, that one's Chase's favorite. Oh, my bad, my man. I don't, I don't think you should talk for the rest of. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, just, I haven't watched. I haven't like. I heard Thor: Dark World is the worst one, but I haven't watched it yet, and I haven't even seen Black Panther. What are You're just ones? skipping all wow. the fuck Dude. around. Have you seen Infinity War? Yeah, I've seen Infinity War. Uh, what's the movie right before Winter Soldier? Uh, the Avengers movie. Yeah. I'm trying to remember which one it's called, but... Wait. Is it Age of Ultron? Yep, I haven't seen Age of Ultron. What the... Who the <laughs> fuck are you? I, uh... I... I don't even... I don't even know how to address you currently, <laughs> right now. You're gonna address me as, uh, Justin? I'm gonna call you Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, he's... Well, I, I was gonna say he's a young kid, but I would assume more young kids have seen it than older people. Yeah. Maybe he's just not into comic movies, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, no. Most definitely not. I just, uh, I think I'm normal until I talk to other people, so, uh. <laughs> You're definitely not normal. Right now, I, I'm feeling not, I'm feeling very <laughs> abnormal having seen all of the MCU movies multiple times. I've seen all of them multiple times. I, I would say Thor Dark War- World was probably the least memorable. Okay. Um, I, I remember Natalie Portman gets something some power from a dark elf and then his mom dies and that's about it i i actually really remember that movie only because i watched a bootleg version of the 3d and it showed (laughs) yeah it was pretty cool it showed the exact same scene like superimposed next to each other so i had to watch it twice as it was happening when the bootleg goes wrong (laughs) That's okay, though. Um, all right, Chase, what are your thoughts on Captain Marvel? 
I just didn't like it. At all. I didn't like it at all. I mean, there's there's cool parts. Hold on. Is it because it was a woman in the lead role? No. Okay. No, it has nothing to do with it being a woman. I was actually very excited for this movie leading up to it. I was like, yes, Captain Marvel. I had a huge nerd direction, and I was like, ready to go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Uh, your erection problem, bro. <laughs> yeah. Keep uh, going. Let us let us hear it. Tell us what what upset you about the movie. What upset me is okay. They changed way too much. It was, yeah. I'm maybe kind of in that origin movie slump where I'm just like, all right, I get it. We all have origin stories. I just I'm done with it. They've already amped her up. Let's let's just maybe get her in space and I felt like the movie was more pushing an agenda like girl power and not focused on the story at all and why why did what what about the story didn't you like I didn't like the whole thing why come what? on chase elaborate okay. god damn it <laughs> it strayed a little too far from the comics Look, for my liking hang on let me whoops let me put You're it like this me. there's a 19 year old here Mm-hmm. Talk to him like he don't know shit about shit because he probably doesn't know shit about shit. You're right about that. <laughs> I need to just kind of maneuver this so I can look him just in the eyes, but I don't <laughs> want him to see my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, keep it going. All right. So, listen, <laughs> child. <laughs> there's There's a natural order of things in in Captain Marvel. And guess what? None of them happened for me. All right. I didn't feel like the the flash backs. I didn't like that at all. Just just tell me the story. Just get it over with. Let's get to Captain Marvel whooping ass in space. And I didn't get that. I got all these flashbacks and flash forwards. I don't know what's going on. The wigs, I didn't like the scrolls. They're wigs, explain this. And masks. What? Explain the wigs. What are you talking about the wigs? You text me this and I didn't want you to elaborate cuz I want to talk about it here, but what do you mean the wigs? I actually just said the wigs uh for the masks. Oh, okay. So the masks yeah. that the squirrel... What what the, masks? They were wearing weird masks. The squirrels? They're shapeshifters. Those weren't masks. They were. They had weird masks. Rewatch it. He watched the bootleg. You're <laughs> 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 seeing shit other people ain't seeing. When they transformed into the others, it was just CGI. There was no mask. No, with them. I, I just thought, didn't like Oh, the them. actual yeah. character. I'm sure it wasn't a mask and it was makeup, but... Well, it was terrible. It versus looked, what, a drawn cartoon? For, no, like, I'm just <laughs> like, there's better. I felt like they took the, the mustache route and just kind of didn't work on it. What's the mustache route? Oh, with, uh... That would be Justice League with uh, Superman... Didn't see it. Oh, the actor that played Superman had a mustache. Did you see it? No, but I know what he's talking about, yeah. though. Okay. He has a mustache for, I think it's Mission Impossible 6, and they had to come back for reshoots, and he needed to, like, shave the mustache. Oh, I remember you telling and me And the, the studio <laughs> that does Mission Impossible, they just wouldn't allow him to grow a beard or anything, so they decided to CGI away his mustache, and they did a terrible job. Mm. Okay. Continue. Where was I? You didn't like the wigs. Oh, yeah. But the masks. <laughs> <laughs> now that people follow you. I feel like people should just follow me. <laughs> follow what I'm saying. And, uh... Well, keep going. Deal. Well, you made me lose my train of thought. Come on, King. Go off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, child. Bro, Give it the time. I'm trying. It's okay. so hard, to be honest. Am I gonna have to start calling you old? I'm I'm almost <laughs> thirty or forty, dude. I don't know. <laughs> you can call me old, just don't call me late for dinner, cause I'm a dad. I had to get that in there. You're... He's intimidated. And the end. 
with the, the scrolls. Why are they wearing hoodies? Hoodies? They don't, they they're, don't got anything else to wear. Oh, when they get onto the Yeah, at the ship, end. To Marvel's ship. Don't say it like a dweeb. That was her name, right? It was Marvel, was the girl, the lieutenant. Yeah. Yeah, it was her mm-hmm. ship. Yeah. Okay. They're all wearing hoodies and being buddy buddy like we're supposed to love them. No. Maybe, I don't love them at all. They're maybe s- they're just setting it up for like a betrayal down the down the road. Cause you didn't get a whole lot, right? Of of them. It was okay, they're bad because Jude Law says they're bad to her. Then she has these flashbacks, which you hate, where she learns how she became whatever the fuck her name is, Carol Danvers. Mm -hmm. But they called her Veers in the movie. So she's seeing that. And then she realizes, okay, they've been brainwashing her because at the beginning of the movie, when she sees the the first flashback... She sees a scroll trying to kill her. Where later down the line, it's Jude Law. One of the Kree trying to kill her. So, that's not to say that the scrolls will be good guys going forward, but maybe it's just a deception tactic to get the most powerful bitch around to lead us to all our homies. And then we're going to try to jump this bitch. That logic. Simple, simple gang tactics. That logic doesn't make sense. <laughs> Bro, I mean, she literally flew through a spacecraft. I don't know why you'd even want to fight her. Just saying. Like, that's... They know how powerful she is, so let's betray her. Yeah, let's do that. I, I did like his comedy, like, when he showed up at that house, the, the lead scroll uh, in Louisiana. He's like, I don't want to fight you. Last time I fought you, you threw all my dudes through a wall. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't like the comedy in it? No. What They're... about the cat? Did you like the cat? Cat was alright. I like the throwback to, I think it's Avengers 1. Yeah. I like that. I thought that was pretty cool. There's just very little that I thought was cool. You know what? So when I came home that night after seeing the movie, I had to go back and rewatch some shit, uh, Marvel wise. Because mm-hmm. in the podcast where Josh was on, this motherfucker. Him and Josh were trying to tell me that in Captain America, uh, the first Avenger, that the red, the red Skull has the Soul Stone. And I'm like, bro, that's the Tesseract. And they're like, no, it's not, no, it's not. And then they're like, in Avengers Age of Ultron, or even the first Avengers, Loki has the Scepter and the, or the Mind Stone is in the Scepter. And the Tesseract is... Whatever opens the portal, right? So mm-hmm. I go back and I rewatch. The Mind Stone is never fucking mentioned. Now later in Age of Ultron, where you haven't seen, spoiler alert, uh, Ultron crushes the scepter and the Mind Stone is in it, but nobody fucking knew that, and these assholes were trying to tell me that. So I had to go back and rewatch like the chronolog- chronological order of the Tesseract, and it's been the mainstay in all of them. Except for Infinity War. It was just like... Yeah, here you go. But every other movie, it has been. And then I would have liked in Captain Marvel if they would have shown where that bitch got the Tesseract from. Because in Captain America, this motherfucker's flying over the Arctic, and that shit burns a hole in the fucking the bottom of the plane, and that shit just drops in the ocean. This bitch deep sea fishing out there and catches a Tesseract? I don't, I don't understand. Weirder things have happened for <laughs> MCU. <laughs> Well, I mean, she's part of an ultra... Uh, what are they called again? The Kree? Yeah. Yeah, I, sorry. I, I have terrible memory, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, with all their technology, you don't think they, she'd be able to find a power source like that within, like, three seconds of it activating? Does it activate? I don't think the Tesseract well, activates. It's just the Tesseract, right? Like It's just there. It's just hanging out. It's very plausible that she could have a way of tracking it down or something that would alert her of the power source. But if she had it, then the Kree had it, and the Kree would have found her cloaked ship outside of Earth's orbit that had it the entire time. She also did not destroy all of the Kree, and now 
a piece of shit human like Samuel L. Jackson has it chilling on his desk, <laughs> I'm gonna go get that shit. Am I right or am I right? You don't understand. <laughs> What don't I understand? Listen, it's Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. What about him? I don't care what's on his desk. I don't care if he took my baby and my baby is sitting on his desk. I'm not going to go take it. I don't know what that man is capable of. He's going to just scream motherfucker at you and that's about <laughs> it. Yeah, but that's a very <laughs> scary motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Both the words out of his mouth and him. Would you be scared of Samuel L. Jackson? No. He's been here before, by the way. But keep going. No, I don't think I'd be scared of Samuel L. Jackson. I think I'd be more scared of that cat, though. Because that's where it is. <laughs> the cat was a G. I thought it was going to be Marvel the whole time. I was mm -hmm. like, that cat is Marvel. Mm -hmm. no. But I was wrong. <laughs> I was just like, it's a cat. No, nah, because it, it was around all the fucking time. Like, it was just following them. Like, I thought it was special, but not anybody. Right. I think it was Marvel. I feel like, what was the race that the the monster inside the cat ended up being? Do you remember? I don't. No. I thought of it. But most things can't even touch a Tesseract or, or an Infinity Stone, but that motherfucker can just swallow it. Yeah. And be fine. Yeah. I don't like it. What bothered me the most about that cat is that's what took out Nick Fury's eye. Yeah. I thought that was corny. Real corny. Couldn't have that been was corny, like, yeah. Couldn't have been like something badass like, I don't know, he's just finding some alien in that movie <laughs> and it just punches him in the eye. I don't know. That would have been cool. Punch his eyeball out. Kind of mm -hmm. like on... Uh... Or like on the the hostile movies, where they fucking <laughs> like some low torch bitch's eyes out. It's like some Mortal Kombat game too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have liked that. I would have liked if they stuck to Fury's origin story. Which is what? Well, he's uh, immortal, and so he's he's a human though. Yeah, he but he's immortal. He can live forever. So he's been through many wars. So it would have been cool to still have him like have gone through all the wars instead of just this is the one war he was in. No other wars. P.S. He can die. Well, nobody said he can die yet. No, he can die. How can he die? Did you not see Endgame? Nobody's seen Endgame yet, Justin. Oh, no, no, no. My bad. Infinity War. Oh, I, I saw Infinity War. Did he die in Infinity War? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so Peter Parker's dead. Thanks, yeah. Chase. Listen. <laughs> in that, at the end of the movie, he <laughs> perishes slightly. Who? He, uh, a young hero who was... Spider-Man? Um, some would say he's Iron Man's ward. Chase has a boner for Spider-Man. I don't have a boner for Spider-Man. I can see it right moment. here. <laughs> that's, a, that's for something else. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. Calm down, Ray. I was watching... Um, there's this podcast called King and the Sting. It's uh, Theo Vaughn and Brendan Chobb. And they're really... Theo Vaughn's like one of my favorite comics. And they they just like they do segments where like people send shit in. It was called "Flaunt My Aunt," and they're judging somebody's aunt, auntie, and she's in like some skin skin tight pants. And Theo's like ninety days off porn. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, this lady gave me a boner." He popped up and showed <laughs> Brendan. Uh, Brendan's like, "Theo's counts aren't gonna stand for this shit, man." That just reminded me of that. That's funny shit. <laughs> Anyway, Chase, um, so, you know, so what if Marvel, the company, is like, okay, yeah, the scrolls are bad in the comic, but most kids that are going to see this movie, which in the theater there were a bunch of kids, they don't know that shit. Let's make them a comedic little race that can bring some entertainment to this franchise. I feel like. That's dumb because of the level, the threat level that they are in the comics. They could have set them up to be the next big crossover for all of those, especially Secret War. 
But you said in the text, you said now they can't do Secret War. I feel like they can't because Secret War is. is Hang on, Justin. Do you know what Secret War is? Nope. Me either. I guess it's a comic. It's a crossover and, like Civil War and mm-hmm. Inf- let's see the yeah, Infinity War or Gauntlet. They called it in the comic. It, it, what? It's okay. a crossover. What, what event? F- okay, of oh. what? Those comics? What? They just press rewind on time and say we'll redo it? No. So <laughs> okay, during explain. the events, all the solo heroes comics come out, but they all have kind of a side story that's building up to something. Right. Just like the movies have been. Right. Up to Secret War. And in Secret War, the scrolls have been infiltrating our society for years and years and years. And without that, them doing that and being good guys, that that just can't happen. Even if that betrayal does happen, still, the Secret War really couldn't happen because... Why would they spend years and years and years infiltrating our society? Well, what if they do it like this? Like, okay, so the lead scroll, I don't remember his name. I don't know, it's just angry. <laughs> what if like he's like he's got Marvel like out looking for a new home for them, right? Cuz they've been gone like technically the end credit scene is an end game a scene from Endgame where she arrives, right? Mm-hmm. So they've been gone at least 20 years. I'm assuming more because Endgame's supposed to be 10 years in the future. Uh, something like that. Okay, so she's been gone 30 years, hasn't returned to Earth one time. So what if he was like, hey, all these homies that I told you we're going to go look for, there's a house right here on Earth. You don't think that would work? No. Why not? Because I'm just being stubborn. I'm angry right now. So I'm just going to disagree. But on the inside, I'm like, hell yeah. It could work. It could work. I think it could work. And that'll probably be what happens. Because if they want to make the, the scrolls bad, they can. They didn't, they didn't make them the end all be all good. They just made it so, hey, she fucked us up. I need your help to get something. That's really all it's said at right now. Yeah, that's true. And that bitch is too trusting, because I know if I meet a motherfucker that day after I beat your ass, I'm not leaving for 30 years with you. Sorry, not happening. I might. <laughs> Are you leaving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers is crazy. I well, don't trust nobody. You know, it's space. Dude, if you're flying for space, just think about that. She can do it by herself. Why the fuck she got to go with these motherfuckers? She was just fighting. Oh, she can go fight more shit. Yeah, she, by herself. She doesn't have exactly. like a destination. She'd just be like a girl on college backpacking through Europe, <laughs> with through the cosmos. Yeah, <laughs> but with with them, she's got like more of an itinerary. That way, it's like a, a college funded trip. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's educational. So now you said something, and I want to I want to jump back to it. You said that all the standalones have been working towards something bigger. I'm thinking right now. No, they don't. Well, not at this moment. In I'm thinking movies. every fucking Iron Man movie I've seen that was standalone didn't have a part in it that related, except for the end credit scene, to an Avengers movie. Yeah, that's what it always is in the movies. But see, even like, so Iron Man 1, it just led to Thor. That was it. Yeah, they were they're still, you know, creating the universe at the Iron point, Man 2... No, Iron Man 2, I'm pretty sure... Had nothing to do with Ultron. Iron Man 1's Hulk. Right. Iron Man 1 introduces Hulk, Hulk introduces Thor. Wait, what? Iron Man 1 does not introduce Hulk? Hulk? I'm quite sure. How? You know what? You're right, he actually doesn't. (laughs) Yeah, he doesn't. Hulk just came out afterwards, and then Tony made an appearance at the end. In what? In Hulk. He's talking to General Ross. The Incredible Hulk? With Edward Norton? Yeah. Robert Downey Jr.'s in that? Yeah, I'm quite sure. That's... I've never seen it. I don't know. Have you seen it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I have, but I can't remember. <laughs> no, I told you, my memory's trash. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the end credit scene is General Ross talking to Tony, and Tony's like, you got a big problem on your hand. I'm going to pull it up right motherfucking hell. Oh, yeah, pull it up. Because <laughs> I have that movie saved to my hard drive. Well, look at you go. It's uh, going to be very loud in our headphones. He got a digital copy from uh, buying it. Yeah, I did. Thanks, Walker. 
From Foot Locker? No, Foot Locker. What's that? It's one of the pirate sites. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. The Incredible Hulk. Keep talking while I'm Ooh, looking for this. Doctor Strange, another movie I haven't seen. <laughs> it, I, I did not see it that. It was boring. I, I liked it. I literally only went and watched it after Ragnarok. Because he was in it. And I was like, ah, why? I watched it when it was in theaters. Did you like it? I did. I, th- I, I was just like, cool, this is Iron Man with magic. Which is basically just what it is. Speaking of that, is it me or did it seem Hold like up. Brie Larson was like Star Lord pretty much? Like a female Star Lord? Mm, just yeah. with the way her personality was? A little bit. But with that, she's going to be leading the. Uh, There's no end credit scene in The Incredible Hulk. You, you just passed it. Where? Keep going. There it is. You're right there. This is it? Yeah, this is it. That's still part of the movie. You're right. Keep going. <laughs> what the fuck, Chase? There's credits. There's credits. There you go. Oh, that is... Okay, that's Robert Downey Jr. He's definitely in mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Let's watch this. Look at it. Uh, if we watch it and put this on YouTube, I think they'll take it down. True. We'll just, uh, we'll just say I'll we ed- watched I'll, it. I'll edit this... this Damn it, now I'm going to have to watch this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this was supposed to be... Okay, hold on. Let me timestamp what I have to edit out. 27 minutes. Okay, so uh, back from that. We did confirm that Robert Downey Jr. is in The Incredible Hulk. Before Iron Man ever came out, uh, this was in 2008. What year did the first Iron Man come out? I believe 2008. No fucking way. Iron Man was the first... Movie. It was 2008. God damn it. Damn. <laughs> Iron Man started the uh, MCU, and then it was Hulk. That Hulk mm-hmm. came out after Iron Man? Yeah, the it definitely did. But it bombed, where Iron Man didn't. Correct. And then they switched Hulks. That is because Edward Norton is very hard to work with. I could see that. He like demanded creative control. He like wanted, <laughs> he wanted a scene where Bruce Banner put a gun in his head to blow his brains out, but then he turns into the Hulk, mm-hmm. and they're like, no. Because of Disney. I don't think Disney don't, don't think said no. No, Disney can't say no. Did Disney own him at the time? Disney does not own the rights to solo Hulk movies. Universal Studios does. Oh my fucking god. They can only have Hulk in team up movies, which is why there has not been any. He was in Ragnarok. In team up movies. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. He he cannot have his own solo movie. That's fucking dumb. Marvel should just own all that shit. Stan Lee was trying to get rich. Did you see the Did you see the Stanley uh, cameo in there? I liked that. So I didn't realize the beginning montage of the Marvel when like Marvel's coming on the screen when it's normally the Avengers was Stanley. I wasn't paying that much attention, and then I came back home and watched the bootleg and was like, oh shit. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to cry during that scene. That was Where he's it. on the train, or the that montage. One too. Both of those. Do you know what he was reading? Oh yeah, I do. Not, yeah. No. Uh, so, have you ever seen Mall Rats? Nope. Okay. What? Dude. <laughs> okay. Do you know who Jane Silent Bob are? Yeah. Okay. So the origins of them would be clerks, then mall rats. Have you seen clerks? Nope. Jesus Christ. You can skip nope. it. <laughs> That's the greatest movie no, of the you can, series. You can skip it. Bruh. When he's talk when Dante's talking to his girlfriend about how many dicks she sucked, that shit has had me rolling. Yeah, but that shit's in black and white. I don't and give a fuck. That shit was funny. My generation has a hard time with? watching that. How many that? girls have you slept with, Dante? Like six. Six? You're a fucking pig, Dante. Well, how many guys have you had sex with? Just two. Okay. And then the guy comes in. Oh, I used to know him. We used to fool around. What do you mean, fool around? You know, I, I sucked his dick once or twice. You sucked that guy's dick? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, how many dicks have you sucked? Oh, you know, just a few. Like, I, I like it. I like to make a guy feel good. How many dicks have you sucked? Mm, like, 36. You sucked 36 <laughs> dicks! 
the customer comes in, she sucked 36 dicks. That shit is hilarious. Like, he ain't even seen it. He's laughing his ass off over here. I feel like that was a great uh, reenactment of that scene. I would give you a, a Raz. That's what, in my <laughs> eyes, you would get a Raz award. Best actor. <laughs> a Raz for best actor. I'd take it. Puts me on the out of Sandler's level. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, you should see that movie. It's really funny. Um, but in Mall Rats, so I've only, so I haven't actually, I own, I have Mall Rats, and I tried to watch it like two months ago, kept falling asleep. But I guess Stanley makes a cameo in there, and what he was reading in the train was his scene from that. Because that movie came out in the nineties. Yeah. Just. For your knowledge. I wasn't born yet. Oh, wow. So you were not Wait, when, born when, when Captain Marvel born? took place? Uh, 99. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Where did you find this baby? Uh, a free agent football list. Yes, sir. Well, that's where you'd find him, I guess. And he lied to me and told me he played linebacker. No, I said I could. <laughs> I played enough Madden to know what to do. <laughs> you know, that, that works. He's, his, on his um, his description on the free agent list, it said he was an elite linebacker. And I said, hey, I could use one of them. And then I brought I him out to a practice. No, I said <laughs> I said I had to play football since uh, second grade flag football. That was not on. Yeah, so what? On well, God. They, they kept on that God. out. They kept that out. <laughs> on God. It was there. <laughs> I get it's it. all right. He's He's a cool guy, and he's a really good kicker, so it worked mm-hmm. out. I get that lying on things. Do you know Chase resonate. used to be our water boy? Ooh. Like two seasons before you came. Yeah, I was the water boy. I was I was actually the uh, hydration specialist um, because I, I I feel like a man even though I have a tiny boy body. Ask him uh, if he played uh, football in high school. Did you play football in yeah, high school? Yeah, I played football in high school. Nice. What ask you, ask him what position he played in high school. What position did you play in high school? Hydration specialist. <laughs> <laughs> my uncles went to my games. <laughs> Had nothing to do with uh, the fact that my cousins were on the team. <laughs> yeah, they just want to look at you, just saying. <laughs> One of them said, hey, go chase. <laughs> Fill up that water bottle. Good job. That was the last uh, and only cheer from my family. <laughs> My mom didn't go to my games if that was going to be your next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, that Chase, uh, I asked him to, you know, come play for us as the hydration specialist. And uh, there was one game where I threw a pick six, my bad, you know. Um, and Josh was the only person to try to uh, go run down the interception. And so he came back to the sideline and he's out of breath and... He's a little angry. And I go, Chase, go give Josh some water right now. And I don't know what happened after that because I went and talked to Trevon. And Chase comes back and he goes, um, I just thought Josh was going to rip my arms off and beat me over the head with him. <laughs> I'm assuming he said something very angry. He was pretty angry. He's like, I don't want any fucking water right now. I'm just very like armsy when he said it. I don't think I've ever seen Josh mad yet. You haven't seen Josh mad yet? Nope. You must not pay attention. Well, yeah, I'm pretty, uh... I'm just trying to think about my stats. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's get let's get back on the topic here. What is the topic? Of Captain Marvel. Okay. So, when Endgame drops... What happens, Chase? What do you mean? Elaborate. Well, now that we see uh, Captain Marvel has a... Can shoot fucking... Photon blasters out of her vagina if she wants to. How does she save the world? Right there. You said it. (laughs) With her vagina. My theory actually is this. It's changed now that Captain Marvel came out? Yes or no? Slightly. Okay, tell me. So my previous theories are still the same, but this new one now involves Captain Marvel. Vagina or no vagina? Vagina, of course. Elaborate. So... Justin, you know what a vagina is? 
<laughs> yes. All right, I can draw one with just... my hands. <laughs> Keep going, Jake. Okay, so it opens up. Her vagina. <laughs> Come on. You gotta, you gotta sp- All right. specify now. Lean back. Don't interrupt me. You, you got, like, when this train you gets said, going, you don't want to stop me, and I don't want you to stop. Just I had to right the there because you said when back. it opens up, and the previous question right. was, did it involve her vagina? Fair enough. <laughs> Please be detailed in your description here. We open on a black screen. Suddenly, it shows Captain Marvel's face. She's reading ancient galaxy type text on a um, scroll okay paper not you guys get it and i don't hold on i'm sorry yes. i don't know if he knows what a scroll is you don't know what a scroll is dog no i know what a scroll he is he knows what an ipad is no dude oh so like an ipad is like <laughs> do you know what a notebook is like a paper notebook a college bound spiral notebook yes <laughs> it's like that but on old paper called papyrus i'm keeping it simple i had to do an ancient egyptian i had to do research on ancient egyptians i know what scrolls are oh i got it okay cool yeah like when you're four and you roll up the paper and you're like this is my map Mm -hmm. but with words on it whoa okay continue chase and this that's my work phone yeah i know (laughs) keep going chase and on it it says that that she needs to uh, she needs to bear a child, and so, in the ancient text, she says she locates where the seed comes from, and then this the, it cuts to black. The script the 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 scene now shows me Chase Bacon. It appears that I did survive the snap. I mean, why wouldn't I? My name is Chase Bacon. Thanos can't even get me, dog. So, I'm just sitting there like, wow. This world kind of this world's kind of cool. It's like the apocalypse, you know? I can loot stuff with, because I I don't have powers. It sucks. You know? I got all these spider bites on my arm. Which which it does. You do see in the movie. You see my arm is covered with spider bites. Can I interject and, now or no? No. I'm not done. <laughs> You see my arm is covered in spider bites and there's chalkboard writing on failed Spider-Man attempts. And that's when Miss Marvel just appears and she's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, holy shit, where the fuck do you come from? Because it's, it, she startles me. And then there's, there's some, some light sexual innuendos uh, that the kids won't get, but the parents will. And then... Some funky music. Something with, like, a good bass line. And then... Like Redbone by Childish Gambino? No, I would say Summertime Gladness by Dancing Gavins. And then... No one knows what you just said. Come on, man. No. You know what I'm talking about, Ray. No. (laughs) I just want to know, is there a white person involved outside of you? What? Is there a white person involved in this funky music? Yeah, there's talking like about dance, Gavin dance. There's like I don't know what that is. I wouldn't know who there's they are. There's several, for this several. You know what? <laughs> no, there, there's, there's a colored man in that band. So, settle down. Anyway, summertime gladness plays. There is. Stop shaking your head, Ray. Check their Wikipedia page. Sorry. It Alex. plays. You know, the adults know what's happening. But the kids are like, wow, they're just hanging out, building forts. Then comes the battle where Thanos is like, yeah, whatever, and the other big bad threat. And Captain Marvel's like, guys, guess what? Here's a baby. And my baby is born and grows up as he kind of crawls from the womb. And he just like walks up to Thanos and he's like, hey, dog, you want to get exterior? And that's when he punches Thanos in the chest, and he dies. The end. And all my other theories still happen. You can interject now. Uh, you're not on the fucking <laughs> cast list. 
<laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I'm not, but the character Chase Bacon could be. Uh, Played by not me, but another actor. Who the fuck would play you? I don't know, just spitballing Cole or Dylan Sprouse. Who the fuck is that? Uh, Zach and Cody. What? Zach and Cody. What is that? You have a girlfriend. Have you seen Riverdale? No. Oh. The little boy in Big Daddy. Okay, I know him. He's grown up now and is an actor. The kangaroo song? Yeah. Either Zach or Cody, because they're twins. Oh, you want them when they're kids? Well, no. Clearly, they would be. They would play me. As adults. Do they have a so, full yeah, head of hair? Full, Hold yeah. on. Do yeah, they, have they a f- do. Yeah, they can't play you. No, they would They would shave their head. To be you. Of course. I'm going to go with no. How many edibles no. did you eat this week? Zero. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch Captain Marvel while on under the influence of anything? No, I kind of just woke up. So you were like half asleep. No, I was awake. I so had you had coffee. like a wet dream while watching Captain Marvel. False. Mm. I don't know why the fuck you think you would be in this movie and you would fuck Captain Marvel. No, I'm not in the movie. Anybody playing? But somebody you. is portraying me fucking <laughs> Captain Marvel, off screen. <laughs> no. Yeah. They would go with Kevin Bacon. He's at least been mentioned. No. Yeah, you have. They could have a, a cameo with Kevin Bacon where they're like, "We're looking for Chase Bacon," and he's like, "I don't know, try Washington." No. And then there's like a whole no. thing where the where she's like, "Oh, the District of Columbia," and he's like, "No, Washington State." And there's like a short little comical mix up there. Okay. Whoa. So that's not gonna happen in Captain Marvel, Justin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or, or in Endgame, excuse me. Ray, have you heard Gino's <laughs> the theory from Endgame? <laughs> well, let's see it. Let's hear it. Yeah, the one that you're like, oh, it's totally going to happen. Oh, I Involving wish... Wakanda? Yeah, I, I vaguely remember. You vaguely remember? Vaguely, yeah. Do you remember it more than I do? It was, it was like... <sighs> King T'Challa was going to basically betray everyone and be like... Fuck the whites and take over. <laughs> no, he can't. He's he's gone. You. That's literally your theory. <laughs> I think I I think I remember. And I said America was gonna be like, yeah, we're not gonna allow no more Wakanda, and the white man's gonna come in there and take all this technology, and then they all go back in time and say fuck the white man and just take everything over. <laughs> Something like that. I don't really remember it all the way. That that was pretty much it. Yeah. But the main message you were trying to get a point was, fuck the white man. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a strong message. I agree, needs man. to be that delivered. Is. Yeah. Fuck white man. <laughs> Chase is white. Too. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm white. Don't, don't. I am. Don't. <laughs> Do you know what 23 and Me is? Yeah. Chase did it. 100% Northern European. Mm-mm. What is it? I'm 1.4% uh, uh, West African. Whoa. He's albino then? Yeah. <laughs> There's this comedian uh, called Josh Blue. I showed you Josh Blue, right? Yeah. Sticky Change? Yeah. Have you ever seen Josh Blue? Justin? Nope. Uh, so he has a uh, cerebral palsy, and he's a comic, but he's really funny. And he's like, oh, I was born in South Africa. That makes me a white African-American. That's <laughs> just <laughs> hella funny. Let's see. That would be Chase. Chase, what do you think I am? You? Yes. Ethnically? Yeah, what am I ethnically? Ethnically? I want to say... Native American. Technically, but not really. No, I'm Mexican. I mean, technically, I was right, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I don't know. We did that 23 and Me, and it told us Native American, but it was telling us we were from, like, the Mexico region. Like, the Aztecs and shit? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's still the Americas, dude. Mm -hmm. I was right. That's true. Dude, most Chase people, was right. Most people think I'm like Indian. I just like thought Indian. you were white. But I do see the tan now. I guess like when we're playing, like the sun's beaming off you. Mm -hmm. And I look pretty white out there. Mm hmm. Better. You look pretty white now, though. I know. I know. Well, well, this is these are Jesus lights. In yeah, here. but Ray looks darker than you. No, he doesn't. Yeah, not. he does. No, look Can't at his hands it. and look at my hands. I wonder what my sleeve. A little darker. No, nah, dude. Come on, I Chase. Need, Put some respect on it. <laughs> my arms are darker than your arms. Shut the fuck up. So, Justin brought some topics he would like to talk about, if you don't have anything else to say on... Uh, We're going to move on. Marvel. We're going to move on. Okay. All right, Justin. Um, some of the topics, I don't know that you'll know too much about, but... That's fine. I have an opinion. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Justin. All right. So, as we all know, Steelers have become the soap opera of the NFL. Oh, man. Did you know this, Chase? Did you know? I'm well aware of this, yes. Please okay. continue. Yes. Are they going to be relevant this season? Because I think they're going to battle with the Bengals for the third seed in the, was that AFC North? What, uh, yes. Yes. Go ahead, Chase. Oh, I thought you, you had something to, because it's the Steelers. I'll, I'll get in in a minute. Go ahead. Well, you know, I feel like they're, they're kind of going to be relevant, but going against the Bengals, the Bengals haven't had a win since walk like an egyptian so i'm not sure why <laughs> a win or what? like a playoff appearance they've definitely won games they definitely make the playoffs too but so the Bengals is not the band that sings walk like an egyptian we're not talking about them <laughs> no, no no the football team dude that joke went over my head it mine too i know i don't know who the Bengals. i know wow. what the song walk like an egyptian is but i've never heard it so that was all you had on that now that I uh, <laughs> I thought I thought Ray was just trying to fuck with me alright let me uh, jump in here uh, the Steelers will still win the division okay 100% let me tell you why Baker uh, Mayfield no he's not a Steeler um we still have Ben Roethlisberger, who Washed is top up. three every year in receiving yards, like He's, throw throwing yards. Excuse me. No A B, and they just traded uh, uh, Jesse James. Today. They traded Jesse James. Who? Or they cut him? No, the fuck they did not. Yes, they did. Well, that's He's cause, on. That's because Vance the, McDonald's way faster. Fuck Jesse James. Then. Hey. We also have a man by the name of uh, Juju Smith Schuster. That's my homie. Is that his birth name? I believe so. No, his first name is something different, but he goes by Juju. And he's real dope. We also have a uh, leukemia survivor and uh, James Conner. And he uh, was top five rushing last year. And our offensive line got better because we re-signed and we cut one of our weak links or traded one of our weak I have a question. Are you talking about a company <laughs> football team or This is the NFL. Oh, because yes. you literally just described a company football team. What the fuck is a company football like, team? Like like if uh, the company you worked for had a football team. How did I describe them at all like that? Well, this guy is pretty dope. They're they're a recovering cancer patient. And this guy got better. <laughs> I know a lot about the NFL. I know a lot about the Steelers. To my fucking squad, Chase. I'm aware of this. God damn it. That sweater with that looks like fucking tiger stripes is a Steeler sweater. <laughs> I need to get rid of that, I'm just saying. Yeah, I actually thought I didn't that was your it. girlfriend's. No, I didn't buy it. <laughs> so yeah, they'll be fucking relevant. They'll win the division and they will go to the playoffs and most likely the Super Bowl. I doubt it. Doubt it. Well, actually, seeing how they even not a drama-filled team this season, yeah. maybe they make the playoff. Right. But you got to go through Baltimore and Cleveland. Okay. Can Baltimore throw the ball? No, they can kind of run back as a quarterback. Okay, cool. What happened uh, at, after Russell Wilson and Colin Kaepernick's first years as running quarterbacks? Please let me know. Uh, is Kaepernick still in the league? Kaepernick nope. oh. is, is a man of the year, I believe. No, he's not. Of, like, the last year? 
Mm-hmm. He's never been man of the year. I'm what pretty about, sure he was. What about Wilson? Uh, garbage. <laughs> hot All garbage. Right. All right. If we're talking about hot garbage, we got to look at Big Ben. Uh, okay. How many uh, passing yards did Russell Wilson have last year? Was he top that. five? I don't think he was top five. I believe he was. Oh, uh, Ben was uh, number two. It doesn't matter if you ain't first, you last. <laughs> All I know is... Do you know who Russell Wilson is? Yes, I do. Who is he? He's the inspiration of a little Dicky song, <laughs> Russell Wilson on a farm. Little Dicky actually has a song called that? Yeah. No, he doesn't. No Shut way. the fuck up. No way. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No. I'm like 90% sure right now. No, you're I not. I am definitely. You're not. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, while we're on Lil Dicky, when's he going to drop his goddamn album already? I want him to drop his TV show first. He's getting a, getting a TV show. Did you see that, Gino? Yeah. I did. FX. Oh, I thought it was on Comedy Central. Mm-mm. Quit uh, spinning there. Don't even just, move, just move the wire. Right uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, Russell Wilson... Is a top ten quarterback. I'll give him that. He's top five. Come on. It's Russell Westbrook. That's an NBA player. I get Come all on. the Russells uh, mixed up. <laughs> Chase doesn't watch sports. I uh, do watch sports. That was clear by the comic talk. What sports do you watch? What sports? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, first I uh, I watched some disc golf the other day. <laughs> That's on TV? I was taking a shit at work, but I was, it was on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> uh, sometimes I watch uh, Twitch. or Yeah, Twitch. There's so disc golf on, on yeah. Twitch? Esports. Oh, esports. What esports game do you watch? Halo 3. It's not a sports game. It's, yeah, no, it's, I don't, it's an I don't esports think that's called a, an esport. I don't think that's an esports rotation. Yeah, well, guess what? It's an old one. It's that's retired it. right now. You know, I'm with you. We need to bring back Halo Three, but yeah, just Halo Three. Xbox. Oh, what about Halo Reach though? Whack. Don't, don't talk about, don't talk about that. Okay. Xbox is whack, bro. If you don't got a PS4, no. you're not American. I have it. You what? I have one. I know you do. I do too. I know you do too. Mm-hmm. So why the fuck like- are we talking about? Because the Xbox 360 is way better than the PS3. Uh, false. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's false. Oh, that false. How's that false? The Last of Us, the end. I can just name one game on the PS3 and it beats the entire library of the 360. So you're saying The Last of Us is better than Halo 3? Yes. I might have to leave. <laughs> I've never played uh, either game. That's because you're a pussy. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to handle the competitiveness of Halo 3, and your heart couldn't, you know, completely handle the story of The Last of Us. Why is that? You would just turn into a bawling baby. Yeah, because that's me, Chase. <laughs> oh, it, it is, does. GG, I know we, you act tough, but we know you're soft on the inside. Yeah. Chase, how many years have you known me? Almost a decade. Yeah. Do I... And that's me... Yes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what else did you have, Justin? Let's see. I'm going to put out an unpopular opinion here, but I think soccer fans in stadiums, best atmosphere in sports. You ever been to a Warriors game? Not yet. Mm. Your opinion's invalid. Have you, hey, have, you seen, a... have you seen some of those games from, like, Poland or, like, the English Premier League. Oh, yeah, so internationally? Dude, not in America because he's not there yet, but if you look internationally, like, did you see, like, <laughs> last night, the soccer fan ran onto the field and clocked this uh, player from behind. No, I didn't see that. Dude, he seriously, all right, let me pull this up for you guys. Why are you pulling that up? Because I will say that this about soccer. So, I don't think you it's, can, it's comparable because it's... It's bigger across the world for sure, mm-hmm. and in third world countries, 
they're gonna get excited about some entertainment versus them kicking a rock in their fucking front yard or street because they probably don't have a yard. So I don't think it's comparable due to the quality of life. Mm-hmm. No. Would you agree, Chase? Nah, because it's it's even popular in like Mexico. A fucking third world country. Thank you, Chase. I wouldn't say that it's a third world country. You wouldn't say Mexico is a third world country. No, there's there's, there's like tons of people that are happy in Cabo. <laughs> Cabo. Who's? <laughs> I've been to Cabo, Chase. Yeah, I know. And you were happy. I saw the pictures. And so that's not a third world country. <laughs> we're gonna they got running water. This is the play, Chase. Oh, Jesus. He just comes out that's a fan? That's a fan. He had real beef with this dude. Dude. Jesus. Well, I can definitely tell that's not in America. <laughs> dude, and then you like go Where to like... Where is that? I believe that is uh, England. The English uh, second league. Just because those towns are so small and they don't got anything else to do. That makes sense. In Look at that dude's hat. Mm-hmm. I think it was, uh, oh, shit, I knew the team, like, AC Milan, I think it was during one of their games. Oh, that's not relevant, but, I mean, if you go YouTube, like, the Polish teams, too, or just any teams, they, like, light off flares in the middle of the stadiums, you have to cancel the game sometimes. They are bigger stadiums, too, right? No. No? No. I thought the the London Stadium where they play uh, NFL games sometimes is bigger than most uh, NFL stadiums. It could be, depending on where you go. Where you go. Because I know you got, like, if you go to Spain or Real Madrid or Barcelona plays. Mm-hmm. All those of those stadiums, are in Spain. Well, those two, those are two of the bigger stadiums out there just because they're some of the more popular clubs. Mm-hmm. And... I'm trying to think of what else. Bullet, no. Keep going. I'm trying to think. Well, I mean, I just feel like where other stadium or other sports games, it's like on and off with your energy levels. Like, you know what I'm saying? No. Maybe I'd like an NFL game, yes, mm-hmm. because when the home team is on the field, so it's it's different. When the mm-hmm. home team is on the field, you want to be quiet so they can get their playoff, but once the away team is on the field, it's, it gets it's rowdy. Have you been to an NFL game? Not in... The last NFL game I went to was in Sun Devil Stadium when the Cardinals were still playing there. Okay. And... Who were they playing? The Seahawks. And... So... Technically a rival game. Was Kurt mm-hmm. Warner the quarterback? No, it was uh, Liner, I think. Or Who? Oh, Matt Liner? Yeah, Matt Liner. Fucking garbage. So, mm-hmm. your, I feel like your your period of judgment, was that game sold out? Nope. Exactly. So You want to know something? <laughs> what? I don't... I barely remember that game. <laughs> How old Dude, were you? Probably four, five. So, me and Chase were in high school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like I was in junior high. Fuck you, Chase. Mm-hmm. In 2003? Oh, 2003. Um, this motherfucker's born in 99 if he's four. 2003, I was either in the 6th or 7th grade. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck so, you guys. Yeah. Um, okay, so I I feel like your, your judgment could be off. It's a different sport. Mm-hmm. Now, I've been to many Warriors games. The last... Hey, speaking of the Warriors, how about that loss last night? Shut the fuck up. Hold on. Hey, I'm let me let me finish this. <laughs> um, so I was in the arena when Clay uh, scored 31 in the third. I don't think that energy could be matched anywhere. That shit was crazy. The whole fucking building was rumbling. But I mean, in soccer, I guess the whole building would probably rumble too. I've never been to a soccer game. I guess I can't judge it, but. Mm-hmm. I just feel like in America, soccer will never be that big of a sport. Oh, yeah, because you're competing with football, baseball. Baseball's dying. Yeah, we know that, but, I mean, it's still there. And then you don't have the talent like you do in Amer- in the MLS. Mm-hmm. Talent's not comparable to overseas. Like, if you right. Like because to play one of the shitty teams in the English Premier League, they have to put together the MLS All-Star team to even be competitive. Wow. 
which I think is, I don't know, but it's getting there. I don't think it'll ever get big here. Will you put your son in soccer, Chase? Or will you say be a fucking man and play water boy for football? <laughs> so, I don't care what sport my son wants to do. I will allow it and What if he wants to play coach. fucking uh, pocket pool with his friends that are males? You know, that's cool. Keep it in your room. Don't tell me about it, dog. <laughs> you just said you would coach. What the fuck? <laughs> don't oh, wow, don't take it back hey, now. Hey. Well, okay. Well, don't hey, take FBI, it back. If, FBI, come get this If man. that's something I have to coach, then I'll do it because I want my son to know that I will cuss at other kids, too. Which is <laughs> the main thing I want to teach him. You could go to fucking Chuck E. Cheese and teach him that. I taught him that on Saturday. Were you at Chuck E. Cheese? Yes. Mm-hmm. And I swore at a kid. Good. I don't have a kid. Nor do I. I think it's clear that I do have a child. It's been brought up. I'm not he sure. has been brought up. Now, when your son swings on you because his hair is falling out when he's 16, are you just going to take the punch? He, His hair won't. I know all about that. He's fine. He's good. His hair won't fall out. It's you got to look at uh, his mom. mom's dad and... Uh, yeah, he's got like a full head of hair. I don't think that's 100% accurate. I'm pretty sure it is. I wouldn't say 100% that they get nope. that gene. It, it wouldn't be 100%, right. but it's it's very it's very likely. What if his hair falls out when he's 16 like it, yours did? Mine didn't like actually start going until I was like 20. Uh, that's 22. a fucking lie. I've seen pictures of you. You just had long hair. Your hairline was still fucked up. <laughs> That's how hairlines look, dog. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, so now you're saying my mom's a liar? Yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So will you take the punch? I'll be like, why are you swinging at me, fool? Will I'm you, not teaching you how to you, shave your head now. Are you taking the punch? Are you taking the punch or are you fighting back? No. I don't even let him hit me now. I catch his hands. <laughs> trying to throw baby hands at me. What if he's bigger than you? Are you does why are you that, saying are you, what if? Are you fearful of that? Because there's a good possibility that what he's he? bigger than you. If he's not... Then... He's, like, to my waist now, and he's almost he's about almost two this year, so I, I know he's going to be bigger than me. Like, oh. I, I just look at facts. I'm like, well, his mom is, is taller than I am, so he, he's probably going to be taller than I am. Mm. That's cool. What if he's 6'5", 280? What are you going to do? Send He's him 16. to me so he can learn how to play what? sports. What? <laughs> That's what public school's for. Uh, <laughs> what? What do you mean? What am I gonna do? I'll be like, yeah, what congratulations. Like, You're well, I mean, tall. Well, I mean, what if he's like trying to do stuff you don't like around the house? What are you gonna do? Oh, you gotta elaborate. Like, let's just say you don't allow pot smoking in your house, and he's just blowing fat clouds everywhere. How what old is he? Sixteen. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. And six this five, is just an ex- God damn. You know what? This is just a theoretical situation. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. Okay. okay. Play with it. Play with okay. it. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna walk in there. I'm gonna say, "Hey, what are you doing? You're smoking the weed. Wow. I guess you don't want a future. Do you know who else smoked weed? Kurt Cobain. Look at him now. Then I would confiscate it." <laughs> and smoke it outside where you know it belongs with <laughs> new mom new mom i'm assuming I, I i'm i'm gonna be married at this point you want to get married justin what are you what as a 19 year old what are your thoughts on marriage do you want to be married no women no. ain't worth it bro <laughs> there's some Oh my god! I mean, they're the I, worst at my age. When I was nineteen, I was like, "I'll never eat pussy. That shit's for fags." <laughs> what are you doing? You, you were like that when you were what twenty five? <laughs> That's true. Mm-hmm. But I'm grown now. Oh. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, like he'll change his mind on women ain't worth it. Like, are you saying you wouldn't be in a committed relationship? Well, I mean, just a couple months ago, I was trying to get in one. She let me on for a month and then just said. Hey, we don't got shit. Uh, delete my number. Bye. It was just like... That sounds like heck? a hood rat, bitch. For sure. Well, no. <laughs> that's no. hard. I mean, that's pretty much what she said. But, I mean, I, like, rephrased it. 
That's still oh. hard. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's just like uh And how long had you, you guys can, been singing to them? Like a month and a half, and it's like, you couldn't <laughs> tell fine. me within... Because I can pick up on stuff pretty easily about what I like, don't like. Mm-hmm. And it took her, like, all that time just to come out and just be like, hey, it's not going to work out. I feel like I, you should be able to find that out within a couple months of hanging, or not, like, a month of hanging out. So, like, a month to decide and, but like, two on, weeks how, how to figure out how to say. How often are you seeing each other? Because when you're, you got to remember when you're younger, it, it's different. Mm-hmm. Like, about three times a week minimum. Two, that's, that's two, three. a lot. Yeah, that's, that is that's rather frequent. Mm-hmm. Maybe you just didn't eat the pussy good. I don't know. <laughs> did you ever? Uh, did you ever send uh, hashtag NBHNC? That stands for no butthole, no care. <laughs> <laughs> no butthole, no care. When requesting so photos, <laughs> as in if the butthole ain't in it, I don't want to see it. <laughs> All right, that's new to me. I just found that I out. I've never heard that either. <laughs> oh. Well, the more you know. Try it out. <laughs> All right. Did you learn this on Reddit or something? Mm-hmm. Did I learn it on Reddit? Yeah. No. Mm, what'd you learn it on? I heard it in a in a god-awful song, and I was like, oh, what does that mean? And I, uh, I Googled it, and it for sure is a thing. And uh, I learned. Urban Dictionary. I got a couple words on Urban Dictionary. I know you have. Let's let's shift back to the youth here. Um, All right. That sucks about the girl, but I feel like you'll. Have you ever been in love? Or thought you were in love? I thought so. Maybe. I don't know. Have you, okay, have you had your heart broken? I would say with that girl, no, but not, not really I'm, heartbroken. I'm saying in general, ever. No. Okay. Yeah, you know, so I'm too young. I'm too young. Once you think, so like, this is my take on it, and Chase, you can chime in, because <clears throat> Chase is an emotional motherfucker. I have so many emotions. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I thought I was in love, but uh, it definitely wasn't, and like being separated from that one is probably like the best thing that ever happened, but at first I was like, oh! little bitch about it so i feel like once you have that happen you may have a different outlook you'll either be like all right i'm gonna fuck all these bitches or maybe i need to find the right bitch from what i'm told i need to be in the fuck all bitches mode not uh, just because i'm in the college age yeah yeah there's nothing wrong with that except for uh herpes true that's why i don't go down to wsu (laughs) chase had it let's hear your thoughts on a race situation. On what? On race situation. <laughs> His name is Justin. Oh yeah. Call me by my. You what? said okay in the beginning when I said I'm gonna call you Ray. You should have said, hey, nah, dog. Hey, Can't my... take it back. Yeah. You should. Call you. Tell. Let's come on, Chase. Let's. What are your thoughts on his women predicaments or yours to enlighten this young man? We don't have time to enlighten him on mine. Uh, But yeah, I would say definitely fuck bitches and stay in that mode until you're 31. I also have a very cynical look. So I would not listen to me on this subject at all. Don't do that, cause like once you, once you get older, you have a lot of regret. Like, and a lot of people say they don't regret shit, but I tr- I try to be a better person these days. And just looking back, I was not nice to girls, and you just you regret it, you know, cause like what. I mean, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now, but I still, like, feel bad for them. You know what I mean? So if, if you stay in the fuck bitches mode, just try to, you know, be uh, be upfront about it with them. Well, I'm going to have to stop you right there because that's the exact talk my dad's given me so many times. Yeah, god damn, man. <laughs> wow. How old is your dad? Uh, 53 now. Fuck me. Wow. <laughs> no, dude, because he, he told me he was a player in high school. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, he went to ASU and BYU. 
Very BYU, good. the Mormon school? Yep. <laughs> nice. Dude, dude, it's funny because his side... Are you Mormon? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I grew up with the church, but I was never baptized. Do you believe in Mormonism? No. Do you believe in God? No. Good. I don't want to say. <laughs> the youth is smart. Well, I want to... <laughs> I want to say one thing. I want to say one thing. Do you believe in astrology? Uh, like, like you know the like Pisces and Taurus mm-hmm. and all that shit. Yeah. What do you mean believe in? I thought it was just like a fucking no, Chinese fortune you know cookie what? thing. You know what? <laughs> all right. You know what? It's uh, really big on Twitter, and people are always being like, "Oh my god, I am acting." like this today i'm such a scorpio like they're basing their whole lives around their uh like horoscopes yeah your horoscope. nah, fuck that i don't believe it dude they're so people, generalized people, you read a horoscope you could read me like what are you what's uh, your sign taurus what are you chase <laughs> i'm a scorpio okay i guarantee if both of you read yours i'd be like oh shit i fit in there too and mm-hmm. vice versa for all of us because they're mm-hmm. so fucking generalized they're so, i no i don't believe in that no, I'm just about, to, I'm just about to go off and say that those people are, are the same people who won't believe in God, but they believe the stars predict everything about their lives. And I'm just like, you make fun of Christian people who are believing in a God, but you base your whole lives around the stars, and that's what you you believe. Dude, it's I just whack. I would never make fun of anybody for what they believe. Maybe, mm. nah, I wouldn't even... Maybe I'd make fun of a Scientologist behind their back. Hey, but. Hey. <laughs> hey. Who's, in, who's in Scientology that's really Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise, yeah. Tom Cruise is going to come John kill you Travolta. now. John Travolta. They're going to come really? kill you now. Yeah. That's the thing. What? They'll kill me? They'll, they, they've they sent people mm-hmm. to watch uh, South Park. They've done that to them. <laughs> Um, well, they gave away all their secrets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't Tom Cruise try to leave? Pay. I think so. I think he did leave. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Tom Cruise is a hero to me. Yeah. Ch- um, have you ever seen the movie Top Gun? Or are you That's too not young? why he's a hero to Hold me. Uh, bits and pieces, but... So you know who Maverick and Goose are? Yeah. I know, um, I know I'm that. Maverick, Chase is Goose. Oof. This has been established for years, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> I want to, like, argue, but, like, every point I've ever had to argue with this, you can now counteract. Like, my main point was, like, I don't have a kid. Yeah, you do. I know I do. <laughs> so Chase will die before me. Good. <laughs> Good. Damn. Wow. He's not calling me about my real name, maybe so... I'm, maybe I'm here to lead the people, He's... Chase. <laughs> I'm salty now. I did not call me one. Well, that's really. uh, I'm gone. I'm that's gone. cold. It's <laughs> a nice burn. And a hand on the podcast too. <laughs> I'll call you Justin now. You've earned it. <laughs> Bro. Oh, oh my shit. All right. Well, what are the kids listening to these days, music-wise? Me and Chase used to be uh, involved in the music scene. You could say. Mm-hmm. I would say it's just. What's your favorite song right now? I don't know. I'm like more of a old school guy just because I don't like the way rap sounds today. Like I don't like I know my friends are super into Kodak and Little Pump, but they're whiter than snow. Kodak Black and Little Pump. Mhm. Have you heard either of those artists music chase? No. I'm just aware of their names. I do enjoy Kodak Black's Tunnel Vision song. Which one's that? Uh, it's called Tunnel Vision. Then it goes, uh, Kodak, they don't like to see you win, and right now I gotta keep with Tunnel Vision. And he just it, carries his only, I just like the melody of it. It's it's nice. The song I do like by Kodak is uh, Coding Dreaming. With Lil Wayne? Yeah. yeah I've heard that. I didn't, it's okay. I like it. What are your thoughts on those songs, Chase? <laughs> I've uh, never heard them. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Kodak Black was also in uh, A Boogie with the Hoodies, uh, Drowning. Yeah, I, I just uh, stopped listening to uh, newer rap 
Uh, just listen to very specific artists. That I send you? No. Oh. But you, you have introduced me to some of them. <clears throat> Who do you listen to now, Chase, from the uh, rap genre? Currently? Yeah. Kyle Lucas... Black Bear. Not rap. Not, I don't know who that is, but I'm going to assume it's not rap. You, you know Black Bear. I do? I do. I know. He's not rap. He's, he's got it. He's he's involved in that area. Mm-hmm. I'd say that. Uh, he's Bear Trap. Um, Drake. Gambino. Yikes. Whitney Payton. Who? Whitney Payton. Who? Whitney Payton. <laughs> She's a, she's a she's a she's a pretty good rapper. I enjoy her. You like female rap? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Do you like female rap, Justin? Couple songs. Not really though. Who? Cardi? No. No, I don't like Cardi <laughs> like at Cardi? all. Do you like Cardi too? No. No, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think she's as good as everyone thinks she is. But so, who do you like? That's a female. Well, I don't. I don't know. The only, the only female rap song I can think of is uh, oh, what's it called by Salt and Pepper? Push Pam? it. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know. And Salt and Pepper, I, w- I wouldn't say they were rap. I'd say they were pop or R and B. You don't like like Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea. No, I mean whenever uh, Bottoms Up comes on and Nicki Verse comes on. But Trey Songz. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that one. Mm-hmm. I mean, Nikki was good on Drake's Up All Night. And Nikki's got some, she's got some songs that are cool. Mm-hmm. But I, I, mean, I didn't like Iggy Azalea. I'm like an Australian that comes up here and talks like she's from the hood. Only while rapping. And then when she talks normal, she's a Australian. I like when, uh... Did you know this, Chase? Cool. No. You didn't know Iggy Azalea is from Australia? Did you know this? I knew no, she I was knew from Australia. I just didn't know about her. Speech. Yeah, she. Um, if you watch a lot of YouTube now. Um, she's on a Postmates advertisement, and she'll talk, and she'll be like, "Stop watching me eat." That was very English, probably. <laughs> um, you know what? It worked. It worked. But that's English what Australian. It, yeah, it's pretty similar. No, I just know that. And uh, does that make you have some respect for her? No, not really. If, if she, why don't you like? Why don't you guys like Cardi? Let me ask that. I just, I just don't. It's kind of like in that new wave of rap that I just don't enjoy. Do you think Cardi B would beat your ass, Chase? Yes, probably. <laughs> Justin chimes in. Dude, I, I do you see how ghetto she is? Would she beat your ass? Yes, I can say that. Do you see how ghetto she is? <laughs> like, she's like, like, dude, she is. She's angry. She's always like she's calling angry, people dude. out. Who is she dating? Offset? Yeah. She married Dude. Offset. Mm-hmm. Dude, she just about killed him. <laughs> so, okay. I, I saw a meme and that's her. I, I get it now. What? Uh, I saw it was uh, it was Offset and uh, Cardi. And it said Offset looks like he uh, is a gym leader in a Pokemon game. And Cardi was dressed all crazy. And he was yeah, just like know. standing in the back like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Did you, uh, as a younger youth, did you get into Pokemon Go? I still play it. Oh fuck, oh, Chase! You, you got a friend for life. We gotta, hey. we gotta do friend codes. All right. Yeah, I know. I need. People. What is friend codes? That's how you become friends in the game. You can become Ooh. friends in Pokemon. Yeah, we can become friends. Oh, Battle. Jesus <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, let's do this real quick. Oh, <laughs> On go. No, I used to. Phones are out, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. We're, we are adding each other as friends on Pokemon Go. Next week the. Our guest is not a nerd, so this will finally uh, be better for me. You get the cheese god in Madden. That's true. But he doesn't beat me anymore. Mm. (laughs) Dude, all I know is I got my... I don't know, I got my cheeks clopped many times by him. (laughs) Um, Let's see. Are you done now? Oh, no, it's it's loading. loading. (laughs) No, I would say... uh, what did you guys listen to growing up? Uh, music? Mm-hmm. Chase listens to absolute shit. No, I don't. <laughs> I believe it. Chase, go ahead. Tell him what you listen to. Or do you want me to go while you're doing all that? Yeah, you can go. All right, so <clears throat> I'll listen to newer stuff. Um, 
They got like some race Rimmer shit, amigos mm. uh, sometimes, mm. but mainly on like my Spotify playlist, it'll be like. I'm from the Bay, so I listen to a lot of Oakland shit, like Yuck Mouth. Crayshawn? Um, no. <laughs> no Crayshawn. You, uh, you introduced me to Crayshawn. Do Sean. you know who Crayshawn is? I don't know who Crayshawn <laughs> is. Do you remember the song Gucci Gucci? No. Gucci Gucci Louie Louie. Fanny Fanny Prada. No. Good. <laughs> You're missing out. Um, she started the white girl mob. But then I listen to a lot, a lot of The Weeknd. Uh, him and The Weeknd and I Am Sue are probably my favorite artists right now. Do you know who either of those people are? I know who The Weeknd is. I don't know the other guy. You know I Am Sue? No. He, he's from Oakland. He's He's got some songs that are pretty famous. Have, uh, did you... Uh, John... Little something John. he's saying legend it. no he sang a song called uh who booty and of course like who booty who, booty, who booty is it you know you never heard that no you know that song though, oh actually. yeah I know. he was on that song and that kind of broke him out to the world a little bit but anytime we're in the car and i got five on it comes on oh is that, I crank know that, that shit up i know that song so that's yuck mouth uh, he's from Oakland, but that group is called the Loons, or the Loonies, and it's a uh, Yuck Mouth and Numbskull. They're both from Oakland. Um, and then, weirdly, the last like two days, I've been listening to a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers. That is That's super weird. Is Just weird. three songs though: um, California Cation, Under the Bridge, and mm-hmm. what's the other popular one? Is it Scar? No. Tissue. No. Hold By on. the way. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know why I'd be listening to that. I've just been in the mood for it, so listen to that. Now Chase, what are you what are you listening to these days? Mm. Yeah, um so so some things never changed. I've uh I just never stopped listening to my chemical romance after uh the uh End credits of House of Wax. What? <laughs> House be... of Wax is a movie. Yeah, I know that. Okay. But I just, the song that know. plays during the credits is their uh, Helena song. And that was the first time I heard of Do you know who they them. are? My Chemical Romance? I listened to one song by them. And is it Welcome to the Black Parade? There you go. I never heard any of their songs. You know what? It, that song goes hard. I it does go that. hard. But that's mm. the... You've heard that song. I know you have. How do you know I've heard that song? Because I've played it in my car going to one of our shows, and you're like, shut this shit off, it's trash. And then you changed it, so I didn't hear it. I Yeah, like, but we got like halfway through. <laughs> it's enough. And then uh, Dance Gavin Dance and various music projects that uh, Hold on, members of that band are in. Let's stop there. Uh, Dance Gavin Dance. To me, not knowing who they are and how he praises them, I just see them as like a band from China that tried to be a pop crossover just by the name. Mm, I could see that. That makes sense. No one's ever heard of them. You've heard of them, but when you think of them, you think of a uh, edgy emo girl. Before I heard of them, I had never heard of them. And the only reason <laughs> whoa, I've whoa, only slow down there, <laughs> slow down there. Only reason I've heard of them is because of Chase. If I didn't know Chase, I would have no idea who these motherfuckers are. Are you trying to make a point? Like, Do I they have a that. big following? They actually have they, a pretty decent following. Have you ever heard of them? As I told you, I have, but... I mean, the only reason I knew about them was because my sisters were in those that, like, edgy screamo phase that every high school girl went through in the mid-2000s. They're screamo? Well, yeah. <laughs> you guys know who, um, uh... Who, why did I forget their names? Let's see, there's this band called Hawthorne Heights they listened to, and they annoyed me with it. I don't know who that is. They're the Britney Spears of the emo scene. <laughs> oh, Jesus you see, that's what my sisters made me listen to when I was younger, and uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, Chase, who else do you listen to? That's it. Just Dance Gavin Dance. And the various projects that... What members... about Little Dicky? Well, yeah, I listen to Little Dicky. 
Who doesn't bump a little dicky? Come you on. didn't mention that. I didn't feel like I had to mention it. Like, he was already brought up previously. Well, yeah, but our and everybody for was his like, show. <laughs> everybody was like, woo, little dicky, we on that train. Yeah, he did get very popular. I feel like he missed out not dropping his album after uh, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday, yeah. He even mm-hmm. said he was supposed to drop it. But he didn't. I'm saying he missed out. I know. He is, wanted is that to make... his biggest song? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just because... They were because... playing Say That Money in fucking NFL stadiums, man. No. No, I'd say just... I'd say Freaky, Freaky Friday is his biggest song just because Probably, it got radio yeah. play. And the controversy. Say That Money got radio play. The controversy. Do you guys see the controversy? Oh, that he had the white girls singing the Chris Brown. Oh my god! (laughs) Yeah, on the bus. I saw that. Oh my god! First off, I mean that. I know that happens all the time. I'm sure Chase has sang along to that many times. Yeah. Screaming (laughs) at the top of his lungs. I pretend you're in the car, and I and then I and I and I like set it up, like I pause it just before, and I'm like. Have I earned have I earned my black card yet? And then and then I'm like, yeah, dog, sure have. I'm proud of you, Chase. Like <laughs> and and then I and then I'm like, oh really? Thanks, man. And then and then I push play and I sing <laughs> it and then I pause it and and I'm like, you feel guilty? Well, no. And then I like <laughs> kind of look over, but not really because I'm driving all the time and I'm and and then I'm like, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> and then I'm like. No reason, just you know, just singing along. You're like, yeah, that's our word, huh? And then, and then we pull over and have a firm handshake. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> bro? I can't believe, uh, I can't believe Gina would even give you an N-word pass that I easily. Never, he, would. He, he would no, never, he wouldn't, never, no, he no, wouldn't. No. I've only seen, uh, I've only seen him do it once, but it was uh, circumstances that uh, he allowed it. It wasn't me. Who was it? It was one of your friends. We uh, were picking him up. He was like supposed to be a hype man or something, but he got way too drunk. And then uh, I was with you when At you were... our show? Yeah. A white dude got way too drunk. He was one of your friends. He only went to a couple of shows. Like, he was supposed to host with us. But one, he got way too drunk. And I was with you when you were dropping him off, and he just kept dropping it. And he was like, Gino, I gotta do shit. Are you? And you're just like, no, nah, man. And then you asked me to help him up into his apartment. Up into his apartment. And That's I wild. saw he had more pictures of himself on the wall than other people, and it was slightly uncomfortable, and he gave me breadsticks. I wish I knew who this was. It was He lived kind of in apartments by uh, the 7-Eleven used to live by, but on the opposite side, on Pines. Hmm. That's all I can tell you about him. I don't know. Where he lived. Chase saw me fuck somebody up one time. I believe it. And he was frightened. He, I, I've, every time I've seen him commit a crime, I've been frightened. He committed another crime in uh, Montana. Nice. Yeah. I know. I said things I'm not proud of. You did? You broke the window and I said, wow, that's very colored of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's what you said. I think you said I don't think I've ever seen you do anything as colored as this. It was something like that. I I made him keep a lookout. Yeah, <laughs> that's smart. Has statute of limitations ran on that? I, feel I like think it so. Has. You're good. Yeah. We can talk about it. But. It's fine. Oh, well, I know. I've been stopped by police officers here a couple times during the summer when I got my full tan going on. Mm-hmm. And they're like, we need to see your ID right now. Mm-hmm. Show them my ID, and they're like, oh. When did you move here? Uh, when I was in third grade, I want to say. From okay, so you've been here for a while. Yeah. Mm. They used to fuck with me all the time. So when I moved here, there was like only white people in the valley. Mm-hmm. So it got pretty bad. Yeah. Well, let's see. You don't live in the valley. You Have you always I'm, lived up north? No, we used to live in the valley. I mean, you know uh, Terrence's little sister? Lala, or Terrence Anna. Duke. Yeah, I don't know any of his family. Oh no, he's got a little sister, and we used to go to school. Well, his brother Devin or Tevin, mm-hmm. he's just a year older than me, and we went to school together. At uh, West Valley. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know you went to West Valley. No, I was. In, I was in the 
middle school with them, and then we moved up north to Northwood. Okay, nice. Mm-hmm. Ask Chase where he lives. Chase, or where, where, where he's from, excuse where, me. Where are you from? I'm from Priest River, Idaho. Yeah, mm-hmm. they fucked their sisters there. I was about to say, is there a little bit of cross burnings going out there, too? Yeah, for sure. Do I always get sketched driving through the backwoods of Idaho? I always think I'm going to see one of those. You're not wrong. <laughs> Chase was bullied very hardly hard in high school because he didn't fuck his sisters. One, he doesn't have any. and I have two sisters. He dressed like them. Whoa. Come on, man. What? I was a very emo boy. <laughs> Girl pants, band tees, standard makeup, emo ha- haircut. Makeup. I think he. I think everyone gathered that. I Nobody standard, gathered it. Until standard I emo boy is girl jeans, band shirt, makeup, emo haircut. Shaking my head, man. Mm. He doesn't do it anymore. Thank God. Chase is actually quite the rapper. Is he? Yes. He was, Let's see it. We used to do shows together and make music. Like um, right there, there's uh, one of our mixtapes called Be My Baby Mama right under that internet thing. You can grab it and take a look. Right here. Oh. It's uh, it's quite the album cover. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I remember trying to take that photo. Yeah, I was telling Courtney about that the other day when we were trying to break into (laughs) Sacred Heart. They won't let you in the maternity ward if you are not a parent. (laughs) (laughs) Is that not dope? It's one of my favorite pictures. (laughs) It's photoshopped, unfortunately. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that, just saying. I mean, we could have found a pregnant bitch to be like, hey, take this picture of us real quick. Mm. <laughs> or we could have just told a girl to just put, like, a pillow under her uh, stomach or, like, in her shirt or something. This was, so, how long ago was that? That was, like, oh, no, that was, that was like 12, 2012? 12, 11, 12. 11, 12. So, back then, there weren't all these, uh hoes out here like they are now like with the, mm-hmm. the premium snapchats and all that so it was kind of hard to try to get a girl to do some shit like that and plus like i was always involved with asking so yeah you know it was hard hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you all right yeah no i'm just trying to think so i'm not all right you're not a what i'm just trying to think so i'm not all right he's <laughs> <laughs> hurting his soul i'm hurting my head no i just I was just thinking about uh, Phoenix, how different it was moving from here to there. Do you remember? Yeah. Third grade, how old were you? Let's see, I was about... Eight? Seven. Seven, eight? Yeah, because I'm, my birthday's late in the school year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dude, I would just remember... Uh, Being warm? Well, there's that. <laughs> and then uh, in Phoenix, the schools are K through eight, and then you go to high school. Mm-hmm. And then... The first school I went to was in this, was actually in like the south part of Phoenix, and that's like the bad part. Okay. Like my neighbor or my grandma's uh, neighbor used to be a drug dealer, and they got a dude. Like the police came and raided his place, and he had like a ton of coke. Dude, it was insane. And there was like a cartel member. No, he was no. just part of a gang. No, the place is cleaned up now, but. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was like 10 years ago, I want to say. 11? Yeah. How old are you now? 19. So, it was so like, you weren't there when this happened? No, but I mean, my, okay. grandma, my grandma told us about this. And I remember going into a lockdown one time because there was a drive-by in like the neighborhood next to us. Like right by the school. Okay. Mm-hmm, but I don't know, my parents... Funny thing is that's where I'm uh, literally everyone in my family because pretty much the whole block was my family. You just owned a block. I'm not kidding, man. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> dope. I don't know. There was like a street that came down. There was like one street here, one street here, and then one across. My grandma lived here. My aunt lived here. We lived here. My other aunt lived here. Or no, that was my uncle. And then my... I had an aunt live here. And then another one lived next door. Jesus. So when I tell you, wow. we're all in the same block. Jesus. Dude. That poor people listening. Annoying. I live in the same town as my aunts and uncles. And I'm like, no, this is too much. <laughs> Alright, Gino, you know my dad, right? 
Pretty white. Super white. I don't think I ever met your dad. Have I met your dad? Maybe yeah. I've met your dad. Well, he's super white. All right. Okay. So he's going to pick up my mom on like one of their first dates. Mm -hmm. And he's like pulling up to the address uh, she gave him. Mm -hmm. And he sees like 50 Mexicans outside of her house. And is so confused what's going on. Because <laughs> <laughs> this was back in the day mm -hmm. where he couldn't text her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then also... And also, at the time, my cousins were in the gangs, too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they had all their colors on. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, what's up, white boy? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like 15 or so. Dude. Chase would have shit his pants. Yeah, he would have. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're right. I would have definitely shit. I would have shit before I even got out of the car. I would have shit pulling up. You would have just kept going. <laughs> I would have. I would have been like, nope. I took Chase to Oakland once. That, that probably didn't end up very well. Uh, he requested to leave immediately. <laughs> I, uh, that was things. because I, I was leaving Gino behind. <laughs> My uncle's from Oakland. And, uh, Is he? Yeah. And he told me he got in a lot of bar fights down there. And Bar fights? Yeah. Yeah. Had a couple of guns pulled on him, too. Yeah. Quite a few, actually, but I don't know. I don't even know how he's alive in some of these situations. Did he tell you what happens to snitches in Oakland? Yeah. They're used to. Alright, what did mm -hmm. he tell you happened? Let's see. Um, Let's see how Oakland he is. I'm trying to remember because... You remember, Chase? I mean... What happens to snitches? In Oakland, yeah. If you get back out on the streets and people know you're a snitch. Snitches get stitches. Mm, yeah. I feel like it's more than stitches in yeah. Oakland. You guys want me to enlighten you? Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear I've it. told you about this, Chase. Uh... They get what's called broomsticked. Oh, yeah. No, is that when they shove a broomstick up your ass? Mm, absolutely. If you want to see a, a, how that a demonstration of that, you can watch the uh, season finale of uh, 13 Reasons Why. The fuck Of is season that? two. What is 13 Reasons Why? It's, it's a show. It's based on a book about a girl who kills herself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, leaves yeah, behind yeah. the 13 tapes. Mm -hmm. They They cobbled that into a, another season and uh they show a, a boy getting broom sticked was he snitching no some people just do it for fun these days i guess yeah that white, pretty much was it white people am i right was it white people oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely it's kind of our thing all right did you have more that you wanted to talk about well, let's see i don't know I'm going can, for about an hour and a half, hour 40. I feel like we got more. Why don't you guys uh, roast my generation? Roast your generation? Yeah, just, just think of me as a uh, messenger for us and how soft we are. You are soft. <laughs> Pause. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to roast the youth. They're, they have their, their good and their bad. You'll you'll realize these things when you get older, Justin. <laughs> but there's nothing to really roast. You you gotta respect everybody's views on everything. So the way that you look at something is probably 100 percent different than how I look at it. But it's okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now mm -hmm. the way Chase looks at things, there's definitely things wrong with that. Yeah, that's but, <laughs> definitely true. But you're not Chase. So. Exactly. I just hit that age that Gino's talking about, and so, like, I just kind of am getting that. How old are you now? 27? 8. 28. I'm 28. Damn, you guys are old. <laughs> yeah. Don't get old. But I'm bas I'm just kind of getting that now. And first it's like, okay, well, yeah, you guys are soft. I'll, I'll stick to that. But everything else, I was like, oh, no, fuck this. Fuck this, like, new rap, new everything that's coming out of this generation. But then it was the exact same thing with would, the one prior, you know? Yeah. Like, I would say this about the, the new generation, um, and I'm not a spokesperson for anything, but I would say if 
if you have the self-control, don't partake in the fucking call-out culture. Let people live their lives. Stop ruining lives by calling out people. Like, if somebody's homophobic, let them be homophobic. It's their right. We live in America. If somebody doesn't believe in God, such as yourself, or somebody does believe in God, let them live. Don't go on social media and try to blackmail these motherfuckers because of something that they think or believe in. You know, that's, that's what scares a lot of people about your generation is that You're nothing is okay to say. That's why I'm that's why I'm that's why I think too. Yeah. Yeah, because I try to keep an open mind about everything. But I also tend to not shut my mouth if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'll say some stupid stupid shit a lot. Oh I And then I'll get caught out on it and I'm like, I don't care. And I mean that happens in every generation where you we all say stupid shit. Like um The podcast with Josh, I had to go back and edit out a part because I dropped an F-bomb on accident. I was like, I didn't mean to do that. But if I were to publish that, right, I mean, we're just getting started with our podcast and that could have derailed it 100%. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, like, all the podcasts I listen to, they all swear and drop the F-bomb every Mm, other word. Not fuck the other F-bomb. Gotcha. The offensive one, yeah. (laughs) Yep. So, um, and I mean, that's, I, I don't really post anything on social media. Do you anymore? You troll a lot. That's really all I do. I, I post like, I'm like, here's my son. And then I just troll. So do you, you post a lot. You always tag your mom and stuff. I was, yeah, that. I know. It's Which is that's fine. Just, that's your that's mom. mom. Yeah. That's you and your mom. That's no, fine. You know, like, I don't see you posting a lot. No, of stuff. you don't, you don't want to get, you don't want to see my Twitter game. Oh, is your Twitter game no, you calling just, people out? No, it's just retweeting <laughs> stupid stuff. Like, I you know, know you want... can get banned on Twitter very easily. Mm-hmm. Dude, like this lady was mad at me. Do you know who Zachary Fox is? No. No, he's like no. He's like some comedian, and he's like super pro black. Okay. I want to say. Okay. And so on MLK Day, he posted a picture of Martin Luther King in the sky, and it's a. Uh, Black guy holding a whip and the white people are picking the cotton and it's Martin Luther King smiling. <laughs> Jesus. It's a, dude, it's, a, it's hilarious. That but I mean, awful. What the fuck do you mean? No, no, I mean, it's like, I'll retweet stuff like that and, uh, and I call out some lady for just being mean to someone. I'm like, why do you gotta be mean to this dude? And she's like, why'd you retweet that photo? I was like, because it's funny. But see... There, there's, well, the, I mean, there's the issue though. You're contributing because you're getting into arguments online with somebody that has no effect on your life. True. Like that, that'd be like you're driving on the street, right? And mm-hmm. somebody rolls down their window and they're playing a song you don't like, and you just start arguing with them while you're driving. What, is, what does it do for you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just like, I just don't like seeing people be mean to each other. You know. True. And because, I mean, this dude posted his opinion, and this lady just comes out of nowhere and calls him a fat-ass bitch and should go back to eating <laughs> McDonald's. And I'm like, hey, um, uh, you should go back to, uh, oh, shit. It was, I can't remember what I said. It was like, you should go back to your uh, housewife duties or something like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> and she's like, well, at least I'm not a racist like you. I'm like, well... I'm not racist. If you understood the She joke. called you a racist? Yeah. Oh, damn. I was like, uh... See, and, and it's white. so quick to toss that out. Dude, people say, days. like, three words, and then you get labeled as racist. Hey, um, tweet, hashtag, learn to code right now and see what happens to your account. Learn to code? Yeah. Do it. All right, let's see what happens. Do, it. Do you know what happens, Chase? I'm aware that something happens. <laughs> what, you can do it? Do you it. get banned? Do it. I'm really not looking forward to getting banned. It's not a ban. I think it's... The, have, you ever, have you ever got a warning from Twitter? No. Then you won't get banned. Let's see. Hashtag. It'll, they'll tell you to delete it or they'll suspend you. <laughs> Are you doing it now too, Trace? No. Oh, you should do it. All right, I'm Googling no. it. How's, how many followers do you have on Twitter? About... 30 but they're all like my friends <laughs> <laughs> how many do you have Jade? I don't I don't know our our uh, in the next day one uh, we have like 1500 I think I don't really use Twitter 
Yeah, I don't either. I, I was for a little bit to tweet battle rappers because they'll like respond to you. And I just had some questions for oh, them. Speaking of rappers, uh, I love following Soldier Boy on uh, Twitter. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Dude, I mean, Crank That was hot in uh, oh, elementary school. Oh, God. Uh, elementary school. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a banger at my uh, freshman <laughs> dance. Fuck Gino. you, guys. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, show my age there a little bit. No, but... Uh, no, I was looking at his website because he dropped uh, his website link and he's got Soldier Pods 2 for 30 bucks. The iPods? No, they're AirPods. Oh, AirPods. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, they're the Soldier the Boy brand. Yeah, he also has a game console that's just mm-hmm. a, a emulator. Mm-hmm. And that, he's yeah. making money off it, so you gotta respect it. You can't. Mm-hmm. People love to hate on Soldier Boy, but he yeah. knows how to make money. Mm hmm. I just saw he was popping up again in my news feed and was like, Dope. I actually thought he wrote Crank That 2, the follow up <laughs> to Crank That Soldier Boy. Let's see. Hey, you gotta you gotta respect his game. He made over a hundred million dollars on ringtones. Well reels. No one even uses ringtones anymore. So think about think about like before cell phones, no one used ringtones. Cell phones came out, people weren't using ringtones. Ringtones were hot for like three years max, and he made a hundred million dollars. I still use ringtones. <laughs> What the yeah, hell? but now you can make them yourself. You don't have to go on and buy them. Like yeah. you used to have to. Buy I, them. I make them. I I, I don't know yeah. anything about this. this really? Too, I know about ringtones, but you don't know that you used to have to go and buy them. Well, I knew about your fucking provider plan. I knew yeah. how to buy it. No, you had to buy them, but I didn't know yeah. how to do it. What to do? Yeah, oh, they're yeah. ninety nine. Most of them were ninety nine yeah. cents, and Soldier Boy sold a hundred million worth of fucking ringtones. Jesus Christ. At 18. Maybe he was 16 at the time, but that's crazy. Mm-hmm. And he made the beat himself. He wrote the song himself. Did the dance himself. He got he got popular on SoundClick, and then he got his record deal off of that. For some reason, I thought you were going to say SoundCloud. And uh, I'm like, this what? was before SoundCloud. I don't even know what SoundClick is. Yeah, you do. Shut up. I actually don't. You don't know what SoundClick is? Is it a baby SoundCloud? It was before SoundCloud, so I've been using SoundClick since, like, I was fucking in, like, a freshman in high school. Oh, shit. And you can still go on there and find beats and stuff. And Are you friends with Soulja on there? Uh, no. It's not, like, a social network where oh. you're friends. Okay. But, I mean, you gotta respect them. Mm-hmm. Did you did you tweet learn to code? No, I'm not. Come going. on, man. I'm not going to. Oh, man. see, this new generation is soft as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> hey, man, I'm on my me I'm and my thirty to followers. Live. Yeah, your thirty followers aren't gonna miss mm-hmm. you. Yeah, you right. have as many followers as our page that we launched three weeks ago as likes. Hey, man. <laughs> Let me see how many Twitter followers we have. Real quick. There's a Twitter. We have a Twitter. Not not the not the podcast, but our. Oh, okay. Uh, so we used to do music. We haven't done music. We haven't released. Oh, I guess we released a new song like two years ago, two two and a half. Yeah. But we haven't like been active in music in a like seriously active in a while, and we still have all of our followers on Twitter. So let me double check. Let's speak. Uh, One thousand four hundred and eighty. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. We got to remind me of. It seems like. A lot of my friends are trying to uh, make their own music labels these days, or they're trying to get their. Like, do you remember Joe? Mm-mm. My friend Joe. Mm-mm. Well, he's trying. Was he playing football or something? Okay. Yeah, he played football with us a okay. couple of times. Okay. And so he. He's trying to get big in the rap scene. And the he's local not, scene. Yeah, and okay. then he. I mean, he's got big plans, but. We he's starting do. off. Starting off small. That's how you have to, but I. I mean, with all that we we know now, I would steer him away from a label, and it's just really who you have around you, man. Like we got burnt out. Yeah. We were doing shows every week. Multiple shows sometimes. Yeah, and we just got burnt out on it, man. Especially like in a local area. Yeah, cause think about how big Spokane is. Exactly. So we branch out to Coeur d'Alene. We we're in Coeur d'Alene performing, and then we come back here and perform. And it's like the same people at every show. And then less people come because they've seen your show. 
and then less people would come. They, we did a fucking New Year's show one time, and no one came, and we just did it as like a practice. It was <laughs> dope practice. It was nice practice. There were lots of lights, <laughs> fog. <laughs> <laughs> But so then we started branching out. We did um, we did shows, EDM shows, and those were actually a lot of fun. Dude, those places look wild. They were pretty wild. They were Dude, the bubble show. Bubble show. Uh, foam. Oh, party. the foam party. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, threw foam. that. So like we we got to the level where we're like, yeah, we don't need anybody else, and we started just throwing shit ourselves, renting venues ourselves. There's not really that much money in it. So it depends on what he's doing it for. If he's doing it for the love of music, which is how we started, and then we were like, we need some money. Because, <laughs> like, this uh, this microphone right here was all that we used to have. This, the stand, and the, the pop filter. And then we had a little, I had a $300 throwaway computer that you bought at Walmart at the time. And that's what we'd make our music on. Yeah. And we were just grinding, man. <laughs> So, I mean, does your friend have a, a setup at his house to record? It's either his house or one of his friend's house. It's, he it's, should he should buy one himself. Like, this mixing, so, before we had this third mic, we, uh, mm-hmm. this is the same mixing board that I had for 10 years. And it's all you need to plug in your mic. So, this mic plugged directly into it. it press this button, it turns on the power, and then it just feeds in the computer. Paying for studio time these days, because that's when I originally went to college. When you were fucking four, <laughs> <laughs> I went to be an audio engineer. Mm-hmm. Um, my fault, Chief. And I wanted to own my own studio one day, which I mean, technically I do now, right? But mm-hmm. there's no money in it. You can't charge people to come over here and record songs because everybody can do it on their phone or at home now. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, I think. He has a setup similar to this, except for it's like a closet, I think. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> so <laughs> when I was really broke, right, when I first started first started rapping, I had, um, I don't even think they saw them anymore, but there was a mic that would go on your computer desk, and it was really thin, like this thin, mm-hmm. and it had a bass. And to make one of these pop filters, I took a fucking do-rag and a hanger, and I would hold it in front of that little piece of shit mic (laughs) in a closet and just spit. And, I mean, if you want to... I mean, I used to love it. I used to love making music, man. I'll probably never stop wanting to make music. It's just I'm not really motivated anymore. Yeah. I feel that. Our last song we did was pretty... Like depressing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, stay the night. That that's a banger. That, that was that was in that good. last batch. And the, we had a feel good song, uh, which I paid uh, a battle rapper five hundred dollars to drop a verse on it for us. And Chase still hasn't completed his verse because he's an asshole. Come on, Chase. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> done. You're I, I just wasn't. Down. I just wasn't happy with it. Yeah. Will you ever be happy with it? No. <laughs> I just, I have what I have, and that, that that's it. That's really all I can say on the subject of that song. Like, the subject matter of the song. It's called, uh, Life's Pretty Damn Good. <laughs> Chase has a shitty life, so it's hard it's, for It's him. really hard for me to spit <laughs> lies. <laughs> yeah, I feel that right now. Yeah. This is the most confusing time in my life. Right now at 19? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. At 19, I was very cocky and sure of myself, so I wasn't very confused. At least I didn't think I was. Maybe hitting like 26, 27, I was like, fuck, I'm old. I need a career. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I didn't really get that cocky attitude just because my dad had that attitude and I can't out alpha my dad is you Even can't it. no I can't <laughs> he'll beat your ass yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> I mean I could take him now but Uh-oh. I mean he's my dad but Justin's dad hears this it might be a fight world star yeah. world star no. world star doesn't do that anymore <laughs> dude I know world star needs to bring back the fight since Q died they ain't with that shit no more <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh <Is he>? man <laughs> all right well I feel like this has been a productive episode. 
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard any of the other episodes? I started listening to the one, but then... Or the one with uh, Josh on it. Yeah. But then you guys started talking politics. I was like... And yeah. then I stopped. And then he told me to keep listening to it. And Did I just you? Never, no, I never got to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, That's I'm terrible. Right. That's all right. I mean... The subject matter isn't going to be for everybody. We know that. Especially that one, because it did start very politically. It did. And Josh has strong opinions. He's very is, passionate. It's good. Mm-hmm. And it's good to see the enthusiasm about it mm-hmm. that he has. I don't have that in politics. I don't give a fuck. So I wish I had that much enthusiasm about anything in my life. Mm-hmm. Wow, your poor son. <laughs> <laughs> I love him enough. I have a lot of love I have to give out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, well, let's cut it there. Thank you for coming through, Justin. Chase, thank you. And uh, until next time, thanks, guys.